How's it going guys? Bibi here with another anime news. So to start us off, the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise is getting another series called Yu-Gi-Oh! Brains. First off, that's a very strange name. And second, I'm surprised that the series is still running strong. This franchise started back when I was a kid, so it's great to see that it's still going. So for anyone that's interested, this series will be starting up in May of 2017. Some more series are set to release in 2017, starting with Konbini Karishi, or Convenience Store Boyfriend, which is an odd name for a series, but okay. So this will be releasing in July of 2017. Card Realize will be releasing in October of 2017, which it kind of looks like that it's based off of a visual novel, so it'll be interesting to see what it's like. Irregular at Magic High School is getting a new anime movie. This will be called Irregular at Magic High School, The Girl Who Casts Stars, and this will be releasing in Japanese theatres on June 17th. Sentai Films has announced that Himoto Umaru-chan is going to be getting an English dub. This will be releasing on DVD and Blu-ray by the end of May and will also be getting a special limited edition box set. So that's pretty cool. I haven't seen this series but I'm looking forward to seeing what this one's like now that it's coming out in English. In manga news, last anime news, I mentioned that Splatoon is getting a new manga. Well, Viz is licensing this manga and will be releasing it to the West in English. So this will be releasing sometime in 2017. We don't have a set release date yet. Not only that, but Viz has also licensed a bunch of other books, including Hello Kitty's Coloring In book, some Studio Ghibli picture books, including The Castle in the Sky and Princess Mononoke, as well as the My Little Pony picture book for the movie. These will all release sometime in 2017. Seven Seas has announced that they've licensed the light novel of Monster Girl Doctor for release in the United States and Canada. This will be releasing in December for 15 US dollars. Seven Seas has also licensed the Two Love Roo and Two Love Roo Darkness manga series. The Two Love Roo manga series is going to be an omnibus and will be releasing in America in October and will be 20 US dollars. And then the first volume of the Two Love Roo Darkness manga series will also be releasing in America in October, but will only be single volumes. Last up in manga news, and Keijo will be finishing its manga very soon. So the manga series that inspired an anime series last year, which was an amazing anime by the way, well Keijo will be finishing up by the end of May in Shonen Sunday. And this will be a double issue. In gaming news, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 is going to be getting some new DLC. This DLC will be from Dragon Ball Super and will be giving them three new characters to play. Zamasu, Goku Black Rosé version and Bojack. They'll also have a bunch of new quests to play as well as some extra costumes that you can put your characters in. So this will be releasing on April 25th and we're unsure of the exact pricing as of yet. But it's still pretty cool that there will be some more DLC coming out for the game. Releasing on the day after, on the 26th of April, will be Blaze Blue, which will be releasing on Steam. And this will have the original soundtrack and a memorial artwork, so that's also pretty cool. And lastly, releasing on April 27th is Kamiko for the Switch. This will be releasing for America on that date, and is only going to cost 5 US dollars. It looks like it's a cute looking role playing game and you can download it digitally by the eShop. In figure news, and Link has a new figure, this is from the Breath of the Wild game, and he stands at 300mm tall, which is pretty big in my opinion. He has a bunch of accessories, interchangeable faces, and he's going to cost 28,840 yen, which is rather expensive but he looks like he's pretty poseable, which is great. He'll be releasing in December. Cardo the Right Answer is already getting a bunch of figures, even though they've only just released this season. Yaha Kui is getting a figure. It's going to be a 1 7 scale figure and will cost 11,170 yen to release in October. If you ever wanted some real looking Pokeballs, then you can go and look at Premium Bandai because they have you covered. They have these awesome looking Pokeballs that you can attach to your belt and they act like a storage, so you can put your DS games in there I suppose, or you can just put some mints or gum in it. I think they look awesome. They have all the Pokeballs that you could find in the game, as well as Pikachu's Pokeball with the little electric strike on it. So that is great. I think this is awesome. They are releasing in September, and you can go and find them on their website for 7,000 
and 80 yen so that's not too bad a price considering that's about 65 US dollars so I really want myself a set by the way that pricing is for the set it's not just per pokeball which would be ridiculous that's for a set of six so yeah let me know in the comments below if you decide to go and buy some and last up is a figure that I wanted to find out more about and now we finally have it the life-size figure of Lala from Two Love Roo is finally releasing and she has 10 made in this world. She's going to cost a whopping 2,800,000 yen or about 25,000 US dollars. The people that want to get this will have to enter a lottery and the 10 lucky winners will get to bring her home. She stands at 5.8 inches tall or five foot eight inches tall I should say and she looks so adorable I love her I would love to have a whole bunch of different life-size figures in my house not that I'd have enough room for them but still that would be pretty epic so they'll be taking orders for these up until the end of May and then the lucky winners will get their figures in August of 2018. And that's all the anime news I have for you today. What was your favourite article and is there anything that you're looking forward to? Leave it all down in the comments below. I look forward to reading them all. While you're there, please make sure to give this video a big like. It helps me out and it lets me know that you're enjoying the videos. If you're new around here, hi, I'm Bibi and I do plenty of videos like this, including anime news, anime figure reviews and anime recommendations. So there's plenty of things on my channel for you to watch. I'm on social media. I've got a Twitter and a Facebook and I'm online constantly. So make sure to come like and follow me on there. I'm also on Discord. So make sure to check down in the description below for all the links to my socials. If you want to see more from me and more videos like this, then please make sure to subscribe for a wide range of anime content. From Oe Jamika, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!